really brilliant part of the food that I like to put together is bringing in all those flavors and acidity is really, really important. Uh, using pickling or fermentation with uh, Emma from Wild Pickle. It's a really, really good way to get that whole spectrum of flavors, you know? So I've introduced pickling to you and this is kind of like a bit of a quick pickle. And again, we're gonna pickle some mushrooms for this dish and finish them off in the pan, just like I did in college. Um, so we're gonna go in with about 150 ml of white wine vinegar. You can use cider vinegar, uh, red wine vinegar, experiment, you know? Have a bit of a play. Experimenting with the ingredients and taking that little risk is what's gonna give you um, much quicker grasp not only of ingredients and how they work, but also your own confidence. In there, I'm gonna put about a dessert spoon of salt and two dessert spoons of sugar. For me, when I'm doing pickling for these kind of dishes, I always go sweeter than what the recipes say, just, just the way I like it. I like the pickle to really bring that sort of acidic sweetness. About, I don't know, eight to 10 peppercorns in there. And when you're putting your aromats into your liquid, you can experiment. You can go spicy, seeds are really good, cumin seeds, fennel seeds. Um, I'm going in with a couple of bay, some peppercorns, and I'm gonna stick a, a garlic clove in. I'm just bashing it there just to get that flavor out. A couple of sprigs of thyme as well in there. Okay, now about 150 mils of uh, vinegar, 150 mils of water to finish that liquid. Done, okay. All I need to do now is put that onto the hob, get the salt and sugar dissolved. As the heat's building, all those flavors will infuse into the liquid. They'll transfer it to a container or a jug, and then I can pickle the mushrooms. Done.